good YouTube, it's your boy IGB fam, you know we back again with another video, as y'all can see by today's title, it's titled Stop Procrastinating, y'all probably wondering why, well if you ran into this video, it's meant for you, so let's jump into today's topic. <laughs> topic, what does procrastination mean? Procrastination means to put something aside and keep telling yourself that you're going to do it, that you're going to do it. We all have that one friend or family member who procrastinate about things, say, you know, once I get this certain amount of money, this certain amount of subscribers, this certain amount of day, things or whatever it is in life that they have a plan, like they have a goal and they just put it off to the side. That is what you call procrastinating. And why am I speaking about procrastinating? Well, many of us nowadays, we procrastinate about things that we want. You feel me? We procrastinate about things that we want because we are afraid to take the leap and we are afraid to take the jump and to bet on ourselves. Well, let me tell y'all something. It's about to be 2024, get your ass up, go do some, invest in yourself. You feel me, run up a bag on yourself, you feel me? Cause ain't nobody gonna come here and speak to you and hand you shit because at the end of the day, time's not gonna wait for you when you hurt and time's not gonna wait for you when you're broken. Time's not gonna wait for you at all, period. Cause time is a flow and time is just gonna keep flowing. And when you're hurt, when you're broken, when you're down, Time's still gonna keep going. People still gonna continue their lives. Nobody's gonna stop their lives to check up on you. Sad to say, it's an evil world that we live in, but it's the world that we live in. And if you have people around us in your corner that cares about you, you feel me, that will sit down to you, give you teach talks, pep talks, whatever it is, you got amazing people around you. If you don't, then you don't. And like, you know, um, you gotta tap into yourself. You feel me? You gotta stop procrastinating. It's about to be 2024. Kill or be killed. Have that type of mindset going into 24. Kill or be killed. Because you, what you want in life, you ain't going to get it. By just sitting around, you know, waiting on people to come give it to you. Like, feel me? like I've done had so many conversations with people that work a 9 to 5. They be like, oh, I don't like working a 9 to 5. You feel me? Um, they hate getting up early. Job's not paying well, and like, you know, I'm just like, okay, cool, like, you tell me all this, but like, I wish I was in your position working a nine to five, but this ain't about me, this is about us, y'all, you feel me, changing your mindset, changing, you know, your reality, because like, the world's not gonna stop for you, and you gotta, you gotta go get, your, you gotta go get what you want, you feel me, you gotta go get what you want, and like, I wanted to, you know, air out this video, because, you know, like, not many people have you know, people that they could talk to and like, you know, I could tell y'all so much, but I can't give y'all the blueprint of to being successful. I can't do that. I could tell you what to do, you know, be like, oh, get your ass up, go get a dream. I can't give you a bag. I can't hand you that. You got to go get it yourself because I could tell you so much. I only could give you an inch. You got to go run with the mile. You feel me? You got to build on it. And in life, it's about patience. It's really about patience. And many people aren't patient when they're trying to get something in life, they want it now, 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 but you're not gonna get it now because you gotta understand that God's timing and your timing are two different things. Because in God's timing, what he has for you is gonna be greater than what you can handle. And he wants to prepare you and build you for that so you could handle it all at once. Because if you can't handle everything at once, you just gonna fall and crumble and lose everything. And you're not gonna handle and if you haven't lost everything in your life or, you know, been to a point where you, you lost yourself, you're not gonna hand you're not gonna know how to handle that neither. So you gotta take the steps of building yourself and building your foundation and building your dream up. You feel me? And like, you know, it's crazy because people aren't gonna tell you these shit. People aren't gonna sit down with you, you feel me, and tell you how to do this, how to do that. Like, if you have people around you, you know, who are small minded you are going to be part of that small-minded group. You need to take out that small-minded mindset because you are just going to be living your life in a loophole. And you're going to question yourself every time. Why this? Why that? Well, you got to start changing shit. Because if you don't change shit, you're going to be in a loophole for eternity. And it's going to feel like eternity because you're like, nothing's changing. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Like, why is nothing changing? Nothing's changing because you have not. You keep procrastinating about the things that you want to do, but you can do the small-minded things. You feel me? 
You want to be successful? Bet on yourself. Bet on yourself. That's it. Bet on yourself. You could be anywhere in life. I could be anywhere in life. I could be recording this video anywhere I want in life. I got to put my mindset to it. You feel me? Once you tap into your mindset wise and once you tap into yourself, bro, I'm telling you, you could go so far in life. Like, before you are healed, you have to be broken. You have to be broken. And broken comes with a lot. And you got to understand, being a broken person does not mean that you can't grow. That does not mean you can't, you know, elevate in your life. Because being broken is a sign of growth. It's another, you know, sign of growth. Because, like, there's growth and beauty. And there's broken and beauty also. So you got to understand, like, these two coming hand in hand, concurrent. So, like... Y'all just got to tap into that mindset and know what y'all want in life and just go get it. Because nobody's going to come and hand it to you. So, and like, you know, I know I got people around me, family members, whatever, people around me, you know, who giving up on me. Cool. I don't give a fuck. Because I know the current situation I'm in, whatever, I know I'm going to get out of it. And I know that I'm going to make it on top because I always find a way. And that's all I know is finding a way and just... Trust in God's plan. Y'all got to trust God, and y'all got to understand that you got to bet on yourself. Because if you're not betting on yourself, not, you know, doing things to grow or whatever. Like, y'all ever heard that saying where a dream is just a dream without motion? Now, when people hear motion, they're like, oh, that's money instantly. No. Motion is a Motion, the real meaning of motion is a movement of action. Movement of action. Movement of action. Take your dream and move it into action. Because now it's just going to be a dream that is living rent free in your head. You feel me? It's a dream that's living rent free in your head. Take that out and go and do the steps to being successful and to do what you want. Because I, I be around people that be like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that. But it's like, when are you just going to do it? Do it. Because time's not going to wait for you. The world's not going to wait for you. You also got to understand you are competing against millions of people. Another thing you got to stop doing is to be successful, stop comparing yourself to your competitors. Stop comparing yourself to your competitors. Because at the end of the day, y'all both want the same thing, but y'all go in different ways about it. You feel me? It's like a two-way street. You this way, that person's that way. But eventually, y'all going to meet. Eventually. But, like, you got to understand, stop comparing yourself to other people because their success is not your success. Their story is not your story. Y'all can have the same backgrounds, you know, have the same everything. But y'all also got to understand that y'all are not the same. Stop comparing yourselves. Because once you start comparing yourself to somebody, that's when you limit yourself to breaking out your shell and wanting to do things. Because once you keep comparing yourself to other people... You're not going to want to do it because you're going to be like, oh, shit, that person's more successful than me. That person got it way more than me. You don't know that person's background story. You don't know what that person had to do to be where they're at. Focus on your grind and stay with your grind because at the end of the day, it's your story. You're the author. And what I tell people, a lot of people, you know, when I be giving them advice is that pain is temporary. Situations are temporary. They will only last if you let it last forever. So what I'm saying, like, things will last on forever if you let it drag on. Like, you have the power to change your reality today if you wanted to. If you wanted to today, you could change your reality. But what's stopping you from changing your reality is that you are surrounded by small-minded people. And small-minded people are trapped. They are trapped in a loophole where they're just going to be like, oh, nah, don't do this, don't do that. Do what you feel is best for you. Because at the end of the day, it's about you and it's about what you want. And I understand, you know, making people, other people comfortable, happy or whatever, like being realistic with yourself. But also you got to understand being too realistic with yourself is going to trap you in a box where you don't even want to step outside and take 
the leap of faith or just jump. And like, many people not, you know, they might not watch the video fully to the end, but like, you gotta understand, bet on yourself, stop procrastinating, stop being small-minded, have the type of mindset going into 2024, kill or be killed. Because you also gotta understand, you are in a field with dogs, lions, whatever it is. At the end of the day, we all want the same thing in life, to be successful, to retire our family members, to break out of that nine to five generational wealth. We all want that. But you also gotta understand there's levels to this shit. There's levels to where you go about it. You feel me? And if you don't have a table, like you don't have a group or whatever, you don't have table, whatever, make your own goddamn table. Make your own goddamn table. Cause I guarantee you, people are gonna start noticing you. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Run it up for your boy. As always, I'm going to catch y'all in the next video.